What is up guys? Welcome back to another pottery video. Today we're talking about this studio. So last year at this time, the studio did not exist. It was not here. We were building it. We spent about a year building this studio. And if you're new to this channel, we make pottery videos. We make vi videos about art, business, life. I mean, it's a lot of pottery videos. We make a lot of videos about making pottery. But this video is a little different. So we just figured out exactly all the expenses that were kind of related to this building because it was the end of the year. So we're figuring out stuff for taxes. And I thought it'd be interesting to share with you guys because I always, I was super interested to see how much the studio was gonna cost because it was way more than we thought it was gonna be. Thanks to Exter for sponsoring this video. Exter makes wallets, phone cases, some other things. Stay tuned, I'm gonna talk about them a little later in this video. So. so yeah, let's get into it. We started out with a quote of about $25,000 is what it was gonna cost. This structure that was here, it used to be a detached garage, so it was sitting over there. And basically, it was a garage with no bells and whistles. It had a little bit of power, but basically we needed to do everything. So we needed to enclose it so that it was easily heatable. We needed to basically have a new floor so that it was uh, easily cleanable. We needed to put windows in. We needed to get water. We needed to get a drainage system for the sink. Electrical, it had some electrical, but we needed to add more electrical so we could power the kilns. Um, and we also have a separate meter uh, so that we can measure the electricity from this building only. Is that everything we did? Drywall, finish. Anyway, let's just go through the expenses. So our original quote was for $25,000 and I knew it was gonna be more than that because that was not including like totally everything, but uh, Okay, so in 2018, we started this project. We had to get, oh, right away, yeah. We had to have the county come out and see if we could run the drainage through our septic. And long story short, they said, no, you cannot. So we had to have a holding tank put in. So there's like a 4,000 gallon, 4,000 gallon? 4,000 gallon, that's a lot of gallons. There's a 4,000 gallon holding tank that we had to get put into the ground over there, and that's where all the water runs to. Cost associated with that, we had to get a septic pump, which was $265, septic inspection, which was $500. Then the city permits for the whole project were $1,450.21. Then we had to have uh, the water brought out. So the water goes to our house. We're on a well system here. And so they literally t drained, drained, drilled underneath our driveway with and brought water out here from there. So that was $1,350. And then Jim's excavating had to come out and put a holding tank in over there. And that was $4,725. So that was all the expenses that were in 2018. Fast forward a little bit to 2019. This concrete slab, we had to have the concrete slab poured so that we could pick the garage up and move it and set it down on a new slab. That was $7,686.51. Yes, that's a lot of money. And then, so Bruce was the guy that I was working with to help me do all of this. So he basically added on that 12 foot by 12 foot space that's the kiln room over there. And so for all the construction, the framing, the moving the building, like we had to close in where the garage was and put these windows in. Um, so that was a very pretty big first payment that we paid him was $9,450. Also a lot of money. This video is sponsored by Exter. So we get lots of inquiries if we're interested in doing sponsors and I pretty much say no to everyone except for ones that I'm really excited about like Mako Glazes or Continental Clay. Like I kind of reach out to them and say ask them. But we had someone contact us, Exter, and they make wallets and they make phone cases. And they what the really cool thing that they do is this GPS tracker. So there's a GPS tracker inside of the wallet that you connect to a f app on your phone and you can see where it is. And so someone like me that I lose my phone, my wallet, I was kind of like, oh, I checked out the website and I was like, their product's kind of cool. Check that out. This cool thing, you press this little button down here and then the cards come out. So Exer was kind enough to sponsor this video. And so I thought it paired well with how much does this studio cost? Because, you know, whenever I have money again after paying for the studio, I'll need somewhere to put it. So that's why 
So check out their website. If you wanna go check out their products, um, they have some super cool wallet designs. Uh, I was very impressed. I've been using this for like two or three weeks now and I love it. I love the little shink. Grab the card out of there, throw it right back in, boop. And then the GPS tracker too. Never worry about losing your wallet. You always know where it goes. Go check out the link in the description below. Uh, they have a coupon code down there and I think I get a little bit of money if you want a new wallet because they're really cool. Super cool. Um, and then the lumber. So we had to pay for the wood and uh, all the stuff to build. That's whatever. And that first payment to them was $5,875. So that's a big chunk of it, right? Oh, and then we had to figure out how are we gonna heat this? And we decided that instead of having like a blowing furnace or like a garage heater, we were going to do in-floor heat. So this concrete slab has water lines running through it with a boiler system in there that heats it. And that was like the one decision that we made that was like, oh, we really could have cut back on that, but it makes so much sense to do in-floor heating in a pottery studio because then you're not blowing, you don't have air blowing, so there's not dust being created. Um, and you know, Minnesota winter, is harsh. So we need to have some good heating. So that was the one thing and that was $7,994. So basically $8,000 for the in-floor heat. Okay, other random expenses later in 2019. The taping and the sanding of the drywall, $1,510. The insulation, so we had to insulate the ceiling, insulate the sides, which is very important for the Minnesota winters. That was $2,000. And then the sheetrock and the trim was $1,740. And then all the other labor associated with everything, putting the sheetrock up, putting the, you know, whatever else had to be done to my main guy, Bruce, that was $3,275. XL Energy, our power company, had to run an extra line out here. That was $860.90. Farm Supply, the um, gas company that provides, so we have a gas tank here, since we're kind of out in the country, they had to run a line, that was $574. All the plumbing, so the plumbing that was originally done, we have a floor drain there, we have the sink that goes to the holding tank, we have the water that come in, all the plumbing that's associated with this was $5,540. And finally, the last expense was the electrical. So all the lights, all the kiln, all the outlets, all the electrical panel that was hooked up, all that was $3,541.45. And that was the last bill that was paid. So, the grand total is, you already know it if I've been adding it up here, but this structure cost $58,337.15. Yes, that is almost triple what we thought we were going to spend, which is why, thankfully, I was able to have a Kickstarter that raised some of that money. Uh, and then we did sell quite a few pots throughout the year. One of my next videos that I'm gonna do is how many pots did we sell, or how much money did we sell in 2019, but I wanted to do this video first. And keep in mind that we, a lot of this stuff in here, like all the windows, the windows that's lighting up my face right now, and that window, and that window, and that window, which we roughly estimated was like twelve to $15,000 worth of windows. We got those for free from my in-laws. Uh, and then the cabinets, like there's cabinets here, and then there's all cabinets lining this wall, and the countertops, which are quartz countertops, those were also free uh, from my in-laws as well. And then there were a lot of labor things that I did too. I mean, I built all the shelves. I built everything else in here. We painted everything. We did the landscaping outside. I, re I finished the concrete floor. I put a sealer on there. So anyway, that cost was just to get the building set up. That does not include the price of any kilns, the price of any wheels or clay supplies or anything. So that was stuff that I already had. So if you were kind of calculating how much it would cost you to set up your own studio, uh, that might be part of the cost as well, is the wheels or the wheel and the kiln. Slab roller, I have that. Tables, that stuff I had. There it is. There it is. All right guys, if you guys have any questions, um, don't yell at me in the comments for overpaying for the studio because you know what? 
I love it. And so far it has proven to be a very good investment and it will be a great investment for many years to come. It's so much safer and healthier for me, this studio is than the old one was. And I'm just able to get way more work done and be super productive here. So if you haven't already, hit subscribe, like, share, comment. What else do I say? I need to say, I need something new for 2020. Oh, cool bird. That was like a hawk or an eagle or something. Check out this mug. One of my new faves. Alrighty guys, I love you all. Road to 100K is what we're doing. Oh, also I'm keeping track of every pot that I make in the studio this year. So far we're at this number right here. I'm gonna put it in. All right. See you guys in the next video. Gotta get my tea. Gotta get my tea ready. My tea. Mmm. That is some delicious red tea to keep me from getting sick. This studio. How much do you think this cost to build this studio?